It's editing for you. Hmm. Hmm. Shot. It's bottom line. I went over my mother-in-law's virginity the other night. I hear out of the corner of my ear. Yes, see. Yes, see. We're watching the news, of course. I don't know. They got like the debate on in Spanish. You have eyes like Donald Trump. It's always Don, Don, Donald Trump. I said, oh yeah, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you. No caloria. No caloria. Under the fucking eyes. I got Donald Trump eyes. You understand? For some reason, I don't get tan under here. It stays white. So, fanta fantastic compliment. Thank you. You look great, too, by the way. Yes. In that fucking, uh, what I call the perpetual nightgown. Yes. The one with the, uh, the padded on it. It looks like a giraffe padded. The one that you wear all the time. Yeah. No panties underneath, by the way. Yeah. This type of thing. Like six on the couch and I'm looking at, you know, I got a, a roast beef taco staring at me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not the kind of roast beef taco you want to see. You get this? Right now, I said, I'd love to, I'd love to wear this like dress that women wear. You ever see this? You know how some women, like, <laughs> my wife has this fucking tatted bathrobe. I know, I love it. That's it, honey. I'm getting, I'm getting hard in my pants with this tatted bath. What is this tatted bathrobe? I always had this thing in my mind, like, I don't know, a woman walking around and like, Lingerie. I was like, this is how, this is how, when you have a wife, this is what she does. She walks around in lingerie. No. I got the, uh, I got a bit, a tatted bathrobe that I wouldn't even do an oil change in if I was wearing it. You understand what I'm saying to you? I don't the fuck know. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, so she walks around with ha always hair rollers in her hair. Like, where are you going? She doesn't go anywhere. She always with hair rollers. Like, oh, like, she's gonna walk the carpet at the Grammys. Like, when did, I've never even seen the rollers come out of the hair. And the rollers are like this big. I don't know. Every time I see it, I feel like throwing darts through the rollers. I, I wanna see if I can throw a dart through the roller. I don't know. I need coffee. I'm not gonna tell you. Listen, guys. Sometimes. I know. I know. I'm the fuck tired. I tell you right now. I worked a whopper yesterday. I, I got. I'm doing like, I do, I'm doing this exercise now. I know. Exercise again. You know, it's like every week I do exercise and then I give up for like two weeks. And I say, oh, let me kick it off again. But I said, I got this new diet program. It's going to work great. It's basically like, this is my new thing. I'm going to work out five days a week, Monday through Friday, but I'm going to eat like an animal. I, I call it the Michael Phelps diet. I'm like, I'll just work out. I'm doing like upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body, these crazy splits. And then I'll eat a fucking stack of pancakes. Yeah, like 10,000 calories a day. Is that what Michael Phelps used to do? And I'll eat whatever I want. I'll drink whatever I want. Yeah, well, guess what? Like, I'm, I'm about a week and a half into it. It doesn't work that good. I thought, you know, I'd slam my joints with all this exercising, but then I would eat like a stack of hamburgers from All American, greasy hamburgers, and that would lubricate the joints. You need grease, people. This is what these exercise guys don't know. 
You need grease in your diet. It goes into those all those pads between the knees, all the vertebrae, all the grease goes in there. Holds everything together. That's the thing everybody wants, low fat. And they can't understand why their knees are clanking around like wind chimes. So now between between the 10,000 calorie a day diet and I, I'm just waiting for my heart to pop out of my chest. I mean, like like from Alien. This is what I want the paramedics to see when they show up. <sighs> Christ. <sighs> what? What did? What did an alien pop out of his chest? No, he was on a ten thousand calorie diet, and then he was uh, doing exercise five days a week. Yeah, and drinking. I was gonna throw cigarettes in there too. I said, "Fuck it, I'll do the cardio." And you do the. Ca- I'll go running. Do the cautery, cardio, then smoke the cigarettes, and it's like we're even. It's a break even. Get the heart going, and then, you know. <laughs> let it relax. <laughs> cigarettes after after exercise. There's gotta be something going on here. Does anybody where are the tests? That's what I want to know. Where are the scientific papers on exercise and smoking at the same time? God damn it, can we get people on this? Everybody's running around worried about the environment. Put a lid on it already. The environment. What? Listen, I I went to 7-Eleven the other day. Coffee break from my job. I get out of the car. There's a guy laying on the floor. Face covered in blood. Like this. Like shaking around. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to go and step over this guy to go get my coffee? I said, you know what? At this point in my life, I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to hear about your problems. I got news for you. I tell a story all the time. I was at Action Park. I stepped over a guy that was having a seizure. Best decision I ever made in my life. What am I going to do for a guy having a seizure? You can't do anything. This guy's on autopilot. He's like, uh, 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 he's like, uh, one of those Tesla taxis. That's it. You got to let it run its course. What am I going to do? The guy, what what am I going to shake the guy? Well, he's already shaking. He's already doing his own shaking. What do you want me to do? Smack him right across the face as hard as I can. That's the that's when you can get away with it, right? People would be like, "What are you doing?" I, I'm trying to snap him out of it. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't work. I gotta get to the fucking go karts. Anyhow. I'm like, I, I'm not touching this guy. He's covered with blood. I got cuts all over my hand from work. I got cuts everywhere. Fingernails falling off. I can't touch this guy. No, and, and number two, you go to you go to you go to lift somebody up and like help them up, and, and they're injured. They can sue you. So it's like, you know what? Fuck you, pal. And it's not my problem. You guys created this. You can't even help your fellow American. So the guy's down there, and I'm like, oh, jeez. I go up to him, I say, hey, buddy, you all right? And he's like, and he, like, looks at me, and then he goes back down to this right here. I said, hey, man, you okay? And, uh, not really. Wasn't okay. So I said, ah, oh, this is the last thing I need. I got to see a guy die right in front of me. I need coffee for this. I go and so, no, somebody came out. And they say, oh, we called the we called the police. I said, okay, they're on their way. Number one, it was like wet. The whole pavement was wet and whatnot. He's laying in the wet pavement. Yeah. I don't know what this guy... I'm like, why, why do I got to deal with a scene like this? Anyhow, I go get my coffee. I get my little chocolate chip cookies. So good. 
Then I, by the time I come out, the cops are pulling up. So I said, all right, I get in my car. I'm like, this is like, uh, this is better than the movies. I have my, my windshield wiper clearing the windshield. I'm like, it's like I'm watching a drama unfold. The cop pulls into 7-Eleven. Hey, cops out there. Can we get it together? The guy parks in the middle of the parking lot. This is coffee. This is coffee truck time. You understand? Like 7.30 in the morning. This is like coffee truck time. Everybody's unloading from all the fa- This this parking lot is jam-packed. And the cop pulls diagonally right in the middle of the parking lot. He could have pulled like right into the handicap spot or whatever. He could have parked the car. There was a, there was a spot for him to park. He parks in the middle. I, I said, you got to be kidding me with this fucking guy. Now everybody that's in the parking lot is trapped. Now this guy gets out of the car, okay? With an air of arrogance, I can't explain, all right? Listen, there's nothing worse than a young rookie cop. I'm telling you right now. He gets out like this. When I see the hands go on the belt, I know it's showtime. He gets out, he's like this. He's doing one of these walks. Like he's the iron fucking sheik, right? The guy, the paramedic that came, the paramedic came first, checked the guy out. By the way, he didn't go near the guy. The paramedic had a mask on. He's like asking him questions from a distance. The guy's laying on the floor. Like, what, what, where's the, where's the defibrillator? What, it would do something. Shock the guy up onto his feet. So the, the uh, paramedic comes running up to the cop to tell him what's going on, to give him, a, a, you know, a briefing of the situation. And, like, other witnesses that were there go up, that were there earlier than me, go up and they go to talk to the cop. And the cop just walks right past all of them, not even paying attention. He's looking at the guy on the floor. Oh, by the way, he does a full walk around of the guy's car. The guy's got, like, a 5-0 Mustang. He's not a... He's... Not doing too bad for himself. He does a full walk around. Before even going up to the guy laying on the floor, he does a full walk around of the, of the Mustang. One of these. Now, I'm looking out the window, and I'm just watching what goes on, and me and this cop make eye contact. And he, like, locks eyes with me. So I'm just sitting there, like, drinking my coffee. He ignores everything that's going on and he comes walking up to me like this. And he does one of these, you know, these one of these bend bend with the low with the lower back, not with the with the knees. I gotta demonstrate this. Comes up, comes up to my car. I got my window cracked. He goes like this. Everything all right? I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm having coffee. I'm on my coffee break. He's like, now he's like, got the eyes rolling around my car. Now I go garage selling. Okay. If you could see the inside of my car, it's like, uh, how do I explain this? It's like a fucking put, put. A stick of dynamite in a garbage can. And that's what you got in my car. I got like, uh, Engelberg Humperdinck records laying around. Like stuff that I haven't brought in from garage sales. I got a TV in there. Like a, one of these portable TVs. <laughs> from the 1980s. It looks ridiculous. It looks, I look like the Unabomber. Basically. He's like, He gives me like a nod. He's checking my uh, my inspection sticker. I'm like, what you go fucking do your job? I felt like saying, yeah, I'm okay, but the guy laying on the floor convulsing isn't. Why don't you go help him, asshole? I don't know what you're gonna do. So the guy gets up, and this is where the guy this guy becomes my biggest fan of all time. The guy gets up, like out of his whatever happened. My theory is he, he's drunk. He got out of his car. He tripped. He fell. He hit his head on the concrete thing that stops your car from crashing into, uh, into the curb. 
this guy becomes my hero. He gets up. He gets up like this. He's all over the place. He reaches in his pocket. He pulls out a fucking Newport. <laughs> Uh, everybody's trying to talk to him. And his main priority right now is lighting a cigarette. I said, this guy is like, he's my hero in life. What do you want from me? Callahan here, for Christ's sake. <sighs> Reporting for duty. Just like that, we're scanning for crimes. Yeah. Yeah. So Tesla, yeah, I heard Tesla's got like automated taxis now cruising around in Arizona. Uh, autonomous taxis. No driver. No driver. So I'm like, oh my God, this is incredible. And then I'm reading and they're saying, If you have a Tesla 2016 or higher, they're going to be able to download this autonom autonomous program into your car. So now you take your Tesla to work. Say you work at an eight-hour shift. You take your Tesla to work. Somebody needs a ride somewhere. They're going to be able to go to like a, like an Uber website. And they're going to be able to see, oh, that, uh, you know, your car is closest to me. I'm going to order it for a, like a taxi ride. Your car is going to pull out by itself, pick up somebody, bring them where they got to go, come back to your job, and you get the fare for it. I'm like, Jeez, Jesus Christ. This is like the most incredible thing ever. So you basically, while you're working or while you're sleeping, your car is out working for you. I said, this Elon Musk has got it together. But... But everybody's not seeing the most important part of this. Do you have any idea what this car, what this fully autonomous car is going to do for nightlife again? I got news for you. I don't go out because I don't drink and drive. Okay? So when my friends invite me out, you want to come out to the bar? It's like, yes, I do. But no, I don't. I don't want to go out. Listen, I can't enjoy myself. I try to explain this to my wife. All right? When I go out, I like to potty, all right? Especially when I go out with my buddies, because that's when the fucking, uh, forget about it, the real assholery starts. I like to drink, like, go wild, you understand? Don't, talk, don't come here tell me about one or two drinks. If I'm going out with buddies to the bar, we, we're going deep into, like, let me kill my territory. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm, not, I, I'm not going out and having it. I can't even go out and have a drink or two because I'm so sh stressed out thinking to myself, oh, I got to drive home. I got to take the back roads. You know what I'm saying? And once you have like three or four drinks in you, I remember when I got my, uh, I had this Dodge pickup. Oh, this fucking piece of shit. Gave me hell. But it was, you know, had a little 318 in it. Five speed. You know, like a 150 Dodge. You get it? You get it? I, I liked the truck. I hated the fact that it was so unreliable. But I remember one time we went out to the bar, had a couple of drinks. I was like, ah, I'll take the back roads home. Uh, the next day, I followed the route because I was wondering why my tires were smoking outside <laughs> in front of the house. And there was burnout marks at every stop sign. I was doing burnouts all the way home. I said, all right, we can't be drinking and driving. All right, we just can't be doing this. So here we go. We got a fully autonomous car now. I got news for you. I'm going to get bombed. I'm going to hop in my car. And as I pass by like a police officer, I'm going to roll down the window and throw up out the window and, and wave to the cop. Hi. Ugh! Right out the back. I'm not driving. I mean, this is the greatest thing of all time. Please. All right. Can we roll the same song already? Ah, 
I mean, okay. So here we go. I mean, I, I really, we got two packages here. From the same guy. Now, I've been waiting to open in these packages. This one particular package I've been waiting to open because I wanted to save it for a special occasion. But unfortunately, we've taken a hiatus away from bringing the stereo out here because, you know, YouTube copyright strikes! Yes. I, I have so many mounting copyright strikes that I had to ease off the gas pedal. All right, because, you know, let's face it, I can't do a show out here if there's no show. So here we go. Come on. Let me get Johnny Blade. So here's one coming from Brian, all the way from Riverside, Illinois. Riverside, Illinois. I talked to Brian on on uh, on Patreon. Great guy. We're talking salt of the earth guy. Uh, he we we talked back and forth, and we were talking about artwork and and creativity and stuff like that. Look at this right here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. And he made, how fitting. We just played the King of Twilight. Look at this. Look at handwritten card here. Come on! Shot a cap gun for Christ's sake! We got a jam up here. Shot a cap gun. Here we go. To Jesse. Hey, brother. I have a ba 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 ba. Okay, we got okay. Only a few hundred left, and hope we can relaunch next year. Although who the fuck knows these days? A processing plant in Spain also had a cooling unit go out and lost thousands. Okay, I guess we could talk about this. I have a bottle from my wine company. Okay. Here we go. This guy has a wine company. Jesus Christ. Uh, COVID fucked up our launch this year. We got th several thousand made. Only a few hundred left. I hope we can relaunch next year. Although, who knows? Ba, ba, ba. A processing plant in Spain also had a cooling, u cooling unit go out and lost thousands of bottles when they started exploding from the heat. Jesus. Somehow, someone put the remaining... Put the remaining in the next batch. So if the wine tastes off, vinegar tasting, or just not good, let me know. I will send you another. Uh, you will know it's bad. Laugh. <laughs> we'll see. I can drink a lot of uh, things that people would think were bad. Yeah. Uh, I designed the uh, boxes in the package, they are related to weed, but shirts. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, after this one. Okay, Brian. Okay. P.S. Once things get better to normal, I will let you know about events for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this guy, this guy, Brian, he's got connections. Let's just put it that way. Let's just put it that way. What is this? It's impossible to open bag. Okay. A 
look at this. Mad Dabber dabbing system. This is how, this is how out of it I, I am. I don't even know what a dabbing system is. Look at that though. Come on, Nintendo black box, we're in. Okay, here's another one. The same. Jesus. I want my MDB. I what is mad dabber? I don't know what dabbing is. What is dabbing? I don't know. I'm getting old. Do you understand? I wore my my fishy shirt again the other day. My fish with all the uh, largemouth bass on it. I love it. I got this guy at work that comes up to me. Oh, you're wearing that sardine shirt again? I'm like, they're not sardines, they're largemouth bass. I'm, what are these days I'm going to roll with this guy? It's just, it's just a matter of time. This girl's walking by, this, this girl I, I, I know from an area of the warehouse. She walks by, she goes, hey, what's going on? I'm like, oh, hi. She's like, uh, she looks at me and she goes, wow. What? She says, what's that shirt? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, this is my new favorite shirt. She's like, oh, okay. And she walks away. I'm like, Jesus Christ, is this shirt that bad? I said, it's a made in America, by the way. Huh? Where are you going? I mean, come on. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. That's right. Bernarge? I don't know. Bernarge? Bernarge? I don't know. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's a beautiful looking bottle. How about that, huh? Salute. For a special treat, garnish with fresh orange slice. Yeah, well, guess what? We don't have any orange slices around here. Let's see what we got. Oh, baby, look at this. It's got like the champagne top on it. Oh, come on. What are we doing here? We're celebrating 30,000 subscribers. 30,000 subscribers! Bam, baby! Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Mmm. It tastes like orange. Like a, like a, like wine with like an orange pop to it. That's really nice. It's like, like orange crush. Mm. The world's only sparkling wine made, made in Spain. 100% fresh. Uh, Adalusian oranges. Ooh, grown in sun-soaked, mineral-rich soil of Spain. Bip-bap-boop, I'm in! Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. For well, we received orders that boat back to Boston, and so never more will we see you again. Right? Who's that, Quint? Show me the way to go home. <laughs>
<laughs> there are certain there are certain cringe moments in movies. To me, show me the way they go home is a cringe moment in Jaws. I know, I know, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hell for this. But when they're all singing and uh and the chief goes, I'm like, oh this is like three guys on a boat singing together. I mean, come on. Come on. When when did the condoms come out? <laughs> Jesus. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Stop stop jumping up the tempo. All right, Hooper? They jumped up the tempo and then all of a sudden I love Jaws. Jaws is hitting the boat like this. I'm like, what does his tail have reverse? I've never seen anything like this in my life. I know. I know. What are you going to do? What do you got here? Wooden box? Hitter box. What is this thing here? Look at this. Wooden box here. You open this thing up here. We got a little magnet in there. What is going on with this thing? Oh. There's a little slide on the thing here. With like an O-ring in there. And a button. What? What is this? There's magnets in here. I don't know what this is. Whoa. Hit a box. I tell you what, this is better than the goddamn coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, I can get down with a bottle of wine. I got news for you right now. Got another one of these things, but a smaller version. I feel like I'm on an alien planet. Hitter box. Look, another one. It opens like this. It opens like this. I don't know what a hitter box is. Yeah, beautiful wood though. What is that? Walnut? That's how you know you get old when you sit you, when you sit around with other guys and you start talking about species of wood. That's when you've you have know you you've moved completely out of millennial territory. Yeah, what is that like? What is that? Poplar? That looks like walnut. You get into these things. No, that's white oak. Yeah, that's right. I could hear the way it burns. Around a campfire, I remember my father and his buddy talking about, like, wood. Species of wood. Like, what could, the wood, the way the wood was burning? That's poplar. Like, how, what? Got another one of those, those hit of boxes. Okay. I'm happy to have these things that I know absolutely nothing about. And Jesus Christ. Seven ten Mad Dabber. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. And more. More t shirts. More of the uh of the same t-shirt so i'll leave them in the bag mm. <coughs> wow brian that is awesome so what brian did he, brian sent me that one a while ago and i kind of i kind of knew what was inside of it okay so my plan was to do a music show 
drink some wine, get a little loaded, listen to more music, get some more copyright strikes, get my channel shut down. That was the plan. But I, I hold it off on it. And then Brian sent another package just recently. By the way, $22.99. $22.99. Can Amazon please take over the, the mailing industry? I'm so sick and tired of the post office raping us. <sighs> I don't know if, if you know this now, but the price of gas is at an all-time low. Why are we getting raped at the post office? Somebody want to let me know that? Because I know that the cost of shipping is directly proportional to the cost of diesel fuel, or fuel in general. So what's going on in here? Here we go. Look at this one. Bithead 1000. Oh, this goes everybody's address. Of course. But look at this. Uh, how am I going to do this? Johnny Blade needed for opening. Sipper Jack needed. Warning Rita needed. Please. Come on, Rita. Oh, we're out. Just like that. Come on, we're out. One more, baby. Ah, out of here. Here we go. Oh, geez, I'd be lying to you if I didn't. If I didn't tell you, I'm I'm feeling that wine already. I'd be lying to you, wouldn't I? Oh, nothing like drinking at 3.30 in the morning. When everybody's sleeping. What the heck is going on here? Whoa. What does this say? For Jesse plus wife and son. Open card first. Then open book. Jesus Christ, this is the card? Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is from our animation videos. To help you keep your wife from becoming this if she's nagging about doing the show or Sh doing the show overworking. Yes. There you go. Oh my God. That's fantastic. That's going to go up in the office now. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this guy. Bithead 1000. <laughs> There's our avatar there. See the show provides coffee for my sipping clothes on our backs, gas in the tank. Uh, food on the table, money for savings, bit had one time. Dude, you say, oh, come on, man. You can't be sending me money over here. No, 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 no. That's not happening, man. That's not happening. Come on. Holy shit. Look at this. Gift cards. Jesus Christ, gift cards. JCPenney. Dunkin' Donuts. Jesus Christ, Brian. That's too much, man. Happy birthday, Max. A gift. Oh, look at this. A four-leaf clover. Jesus Christ, look at that. That's incredible. It's like laminated? Four-leaf clover. Happy birthday, Max. I give... $2 bill for luck. Four leaf clover I found last year. Maybe give a little Max some luck. Wow. Wow. <laughs> $2 bill from Uncle Brian to Max. Wow. That's something. Remember the $2 bill? What's going on with the $2 bill?
Look at that. I remember my grandfather used to have $2 bills. This thing is in mint condition. Can you still go to the bank and get a $2 bill? What is the story here? Look at the, look at the founding fathers on the back. Oh, please. They're all, they're all spinning in their graves right now. <laughs> That's for sure. They're all spinning. Sorry about, sorry about your, all your statues. They've all got, been ripped down. Yes. Listen, listen, I, I understand you might not like what the, these statues represent. But for Christ's sake, somebody, this is a piece of artwork. Somebody cast this out of bronze. You ever do any bronze casting? Okay. It's not easy. Stop ripping the statues down. That was somebody's artwork for Christ's sake. For nothing, for no other reason. God almighty. That four leaf clover is a trip, man. I like that. Look at that. That's something else. Had another gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. Lost it, so here's another one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like Amex gift card? Jesus Christ, Brian, Brian. Way too much, man. Way too much. Way too much. As Sylvia would say, too much, eh? Too much, eh? Too much, eh? Yeah, too much, eh? Wow. I'm blown away, man. I really am. Jesus Christ, look at this. If it does not help at all, use gas card to get the red Corvette fueled up for mini ramp jump, then go get a sip of coffee with other card. <laughs> look at this. Oh my God. It's unreal. It is unreal. God, I'm, this, this wine is making me sweat. Oh. Wow, and look at this. A pack of toxic high school cards. What? I'm, I'm in. Let's get a look at these. Okay, here we go. School nurse. <laughs> All he had was a hangover. Look at the nurse. She's got the, the cigarette hanging out. Yeah, she could be the bartender at the bowling alley, too. Look at that. Look at that fucking nose on her, huh? Hide the coke. Jesus Christ. Photography class. Capturing a memory of our principal. <laughs> Look at these cards, come on. <laughs> Look at our coach. When the going gets tough, the tough get pantyhose. <laughs> ah, that's great. Class trip make uh class trip making the museum more beautiful. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. You gotta love this kind of stuff. Come on, please, please. It's like dinosaurs attack. Remember the dinosaurs attack cards? Oh my God. Here we go. What is this? Look. <laughs> Look, it's got the tri lamp sign on here. My God, the effort that went into this package. It's unbelievable. Thought this could could store some of your art uh, and letters from fans. You rock. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this. Bithead 1000. You realize you tuned into? Wow, look at that. Jesus. Wow. Look at this. Johnny Blade to Bithead 1000, a.k.a. Jesse. All great things get started from small beginnings. Life is short to not do the things you love doing. Through the dream, through the dream, though the dreamers may die, the dreams live on. Look at this, all wonderful quotes. It might take a year, it might take a day, but what is meant to be will always find its way. Wow, that's, that's, 
This is going to have a very special place somewhere. Look at that. I love that. Get out of my country. <laughs> yes. And why the long face? Yeah, you understand something. Guys, you don't understand something here. I was going to be a t-shirt mogul. You get it? One of my one of my best t-shirt designs was right here, and I'm so very proud of it. <laughs> this one gets me every time. So I made this t-shirt, and I knew I knew my t-shirt business was gonna take off because one morning I was so hungover. We, me and my buddies went out to the bar and whatnot, and I threw on my Why the Long Face t-shirt the next day, and I went to the bagel store. And this woman comes up to me and she goes, I just want you to know, I think that shirt is disgusting. <laughs> and I was like, like, I'm looking at it like cross-eyed. I'm so hungover. I'm like, oh, okay. And I was just like, this shirt is a hit. It's a hit. Yes. And then I realized that making t-shirts is the biggest fucking nightmare on planet Earth. And you can't make any money from it. So there you go. I'm out. Okay. Sorry for the long letter, although I thought uh, your fans would enjoy how you changed my life. Hmm. This package was ready, ready to go uh, months ago. Life keeps getting in the way and fucking me tender in getting this to you. I wrote this letter and became an... Uh, I, I can't read that. I tried down. To, oh, I tried to bring it down to three pages. <laughs> you want, you guys want to, you know, to strap yourselves in here. Uh, but it may still be long. Made it smaller. Letter with the first paragraph. I thought I needed to let you know everything. Jeez. Wow, I don't even know if I should read this. But I'm going to read this. Possibly, I love hearing the stories and your your inspiration. You gave them. Uh, future packages will be in short, but fans might enjoy my story. Wow, you rock with it. Time myself. Okay, here we go. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, we're gonna give this a rip. To the greatest channel and personality in the history of human civilization, I write this letter to you and the ones who are devoted fans of the Bithead 1000 Army. They know this captain can lead us to the happiest times of our lives and out of the worst times. Love, love all the pure followers the, uh, and new to the channel, commenting similar, in my feelings, love and enjoy immensely the gifts you get from all who admire and respect what you do for us, for us all. A beautiful and rare thing you achieved here, brother. You truly are a national treasure to all of us. Wow, this is uh, very, very nice here. Uh, I will send more packages often and label this, this package's gifts in number order for opening. Uh, your boy's art. Piece. I will post process on my art page and f a Facebook called Brian Brian Forsyth Art Brian that's B R A Y N F O R S Y T H Art. We have talked about before on Patreon. Immensely appreciate your words to me and what you have done for me, and we'll explain more about that below. I know many others have similar feelings to me in reading uh, what they have written to you, as well as hearing your stories that helped you keep going from viewers letting you know you have purpose. You mean the world to us, brother. Well, you know, the, the very simple fact is without you guys, uh, then I wouldn't be here and uh, just wouldn't be here. It's as simple as that. It's, it's, it's amazing the, the symbiotic relationship 
that we have. <laughs> That's like, it's just like days where you're like, I can't do this. And then you get an email and you're like, I can do this. Just like that. It's just that simple. I mean, you, you know, we've been fighting it for 10 years here. And, uh, it's, uh, it's uphill to say the least. <laughs> it's uphill f from everybody. I mean, well, you know, everybody that I'm surrounded by. It's uphill. And it's easy to turn the bike around and go back downhill. It's real easy to do that. I thought about it many times. But you guys keep on pushing me up the hill. And it's uh, it's really, really amazing. Uh, I watched your first show when I followed uh, Anything Gaming and loved seeing you evolve yourself and the channel. I also was blown away by uh, seeing your talent as an artist uh, be shown when you are starting off your skills. Me being an artist, wanting to do it forever, made me really start to appreciate your universal talent. You have made me a better artist, and I don't and don't sell yourself short on your gift. Each episode I saw, you evolve, and you truly get better and better. To this day, each episode is better than the last. Going, uh, shocking video had me dying because it, it did, uh, I did a similar thing to a shock in my area. Your outlook on life, all forms and interpretations of things and having a fluid, create, creative, quick sense of humor makes your videos truly a great combination and learn and laugh every show. You never miss a beat in your flow of your thoughts and love when you do when you do go all over the place. No script, just gold. Watched all videos from beginning and then watched my last video before I left and before I left and lost your channel for four years. <clears throat> Title beautifully linked to when my life was no longer going to be anything like the life I knew. Titled Title was, This is the End, posted uh, May 23rd, 2015. The following week, June 4th, 2015, around 4 a.m., I lost my brother, my best friend, and my hero, Douglas Forsyth. Forsyth? Forsyth, I want to get that right. Uh, to a long eight-year battle with his addiction. Wow. Uh, my world was flipped upside down and never the same, never the same reality I knew. I had been an artist designer my whole life and was starting on my career in it full time the week he died. Life changed as well in a positive, in a positive for my son, for my love for his son, Caden, and nephew to me, who was three months old. Wow, when he passed. That's, uh, that's, that sucks. Uh, filled in my brother's shoes and today he is my world. Wow, that's a fantastic thing right there. That's for sure. Uh, a beautiful thing. Caden being three months old made me start a dramatic change in my purpose on this planet in bettering it and making his boy proud. Wow. I vowed to make his death a positive in some way in me becoming the best I can be and to better his son and the world around me. My passion was dead in creating and the more creating the more complicated art pieces I need I needed to make with my passion and and was brain dead with creating them now. Knew my passion was gone, so I decided to learn every day in improving my skill and learn new ways to create. Already gave up TV in 2009. That's... that's uh, that's pretty important right there. You know something? When I when I moved into my apartment, I left my a TV at my girlfriend's house. Partially because it was a 36-inch uh, sharp uh, CTR TV and it weighed about 350 pounds. And me and my buddy VS went to lift it. And I was like, you know what? 
uh, like uh, like I'm the generous guy. Let her have the TV. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Never look back. And then from there, I went to my apartment. And I was in my apartment for five years without a TV. The only reason why I got a TV was to do the show, reviews, and stuff like that. Maybe to watch a movie here and again. But eliminated TV from my life. And I had no problem doing that at all. Uh, yes. But gave up all uh, YouTube channels that were entertainment and watched only educational videos to learn more ways to create and learn more about everything. Kept learning anything and being the best person I could be until that passion was back. Life began to look and feel like something completely different. And a thing I used to take for granted, I started to see the true beauty of life and why are we and why we are here and what I truly want to do in life. Uh, took losing the one I love to consider my hero and coolest person uh, that I revolved around to open my eyes to what this journey is we're all on. Say often to people losing my brother was the best thing for my soul. People get confused. But it was his loss that made me uh, the artist I always wanted to be and drive me to be to do the best to honor him. His loss made me smell the flowers and see the beauty around me I never saw. Do anything to bring back the old times with him, but will do everything to make his loss a, pos a positive on this world, in my soul and for his son. Playing hundreds of odd pieces, just uh, planning and making plans and steps until when I was ready. Was going to move forward with all my plans on his birthday, February 21st, uh, 2018. I was ready to go forward 100%. Life is a bitch, though, and strange on what it can do to fuck up your brain. Tragedy struck again, uh, and I lost my best friend, Joe Garcia. And biggest gaming bud since kids, February 9th, 2019, to a battle with cancer. And was thinking, I was thinking he was winning. I was still devoted to the future and did not want to let the ones I lost down. On my brother's birthday, though, thinking of him and moving forward, I realized I was older by few weeks than when... He passed now my younger <clears throat> now my younger brother in age, but in my soul always always bigger brother, losing one of my best friends and realizing my older brother was lo no longer my older brother oh okay i see I see he he grew older than his brother was when his brother was alive I see was heading closer to the end of my journey. That crashed into me with a strange dark feeling. Could not get out of the darkness. In my head, it, in my head, I was ready and could walk forward, but could not for some reason. Was so focused and then destroyed again, wanting to get out, but could not. I could not shake the darkness. It was the same level of losing him for the first time. I did... Nothing for more than a week. I tried to snap out of my pain. I began watching all my old channels. I stopped watching. And I was looking for some kind of joy instead of pain. Then one of the most life-changing things in my soul happened. Was watching movies, videos, having fun with my nephew. Just searching for the passion I had weeks ago. Could not find that joy that gives me passion to my art that was fuel. Was nearly, was up nearly for 40 plus hours one night plan, planning art and just looking for that fuel. My eyes were bloodshot and I felt like I was going to crash hard. Was going to close the computer when I saw a recommendation of an old friend I have not seen in four years. It was, it also was surprising since YouTube fucks you tender and buries your greatness, those cunts. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, for some reason, my channel is uh, listed for kids, even though every video I put up, I say, no, not for kids. But it's listed for kids, so there you go. I mean... <sighs> if 
for some reason, people don't get notified. Uh, oh boy. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. When I clicked on the video, you stood in silence, aggravated for about 30 seconds. That sounds like the show. <laughs> uh, just waiting to hear you talk and was going to crash hard. My eyes were fighting to stay open, just about to close my computer. Then you began one of the most amazing things to happen to my soul. You started to do what Bithead 1000 does to perfection. Bring gold to all of us. You began giving a talk on fat losers and shit fucks you saw on the boardwalk. I was fucking blown away seeing a personality that was more like a brother and just being true to being a real person with the same dark sense of humor as myself and my brother. I was shocked after the video realizing my dark cloud was gone and not in my head. You also brought my brother back to life with having my brother's sense of humor and brutal uh, brutalness and quickness he had. Truly the funniest guy I knew and still think that. You now, though, have that in the living world and truly think you are the best, brother. I began to fill with pure positive energy and joy that I had with my brother. Every bad thing in my soul was melted away in a few minutes from that video. It was a fucking Jedi mind trick and magic trick you did to my soul and life. I, I could not realize it. I was just a few minutes ago in darkness and hole in my soul in my life. And now my soul was overwhelmed with joy. I watch your videos for hours. I felt good, but was worried about waking up the next day and thinking the pain would be back. So laughing and enjoying your channel as much as I could before crashing. When I crashed and woke up, I was, I was reborn. This, I was a reborn soul was ready to take the next step. I've been waiting for the, since the, he passed. This is what I'm talking about. This why doesn't everybody watch the Bithead 1000 channel? No. Wow, Brian. I mean, listen, we have another page and a half, and I really would love to read it, but my battery's about to go dead. <laughs> and we have to get to this. And we have to get to this. I'm trying to think of how I could do this. No, we're gonna read this whole thing. We're gonna come back later. I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge the camera. We're gonna come back later. Let's see how far we can get with this. All right. I. This is something else. And and boy oh boy, did you put some effort into this. So uh, who the fuck am I? Who the fuck am I? Cheers, Brian. I don't want to do it like that. So that's that's about it. Uh, uh, there are many moments, sometimes small, some big, as well as people, friends, families, teachers, and strangers that change the way you think. This is true. This is true. I, I, I often say some people that you meet, it, it, life is like a pinball machine. And you meet certain people that bounce you in a different direction. It's a wonderful thing. And you never know who it can be. And you never know when it can be. So it's a very important to, uh, I don't know, be receptive to other people. Because you'll meet some amazing people. And they'll have a tremendous effect on your life. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, no. Ah, man, Brian, that's good stuff. Whew. I'm gonna be. I'm starting to see double. Like I'm starting to see the lead is double. I don't know whether that's my eyes stroking out or what's going on here. Okay. Uh you truly changed my soul and direction in life for a better. And I know it was from you that last push I needed. I believe in fate and purpose in life. As I go on forward in my dreams, I feel I am the best person I have been since losing my brother. 
It took you to send to me on that path and give you and give a joy and passion to my soul that I desperately needed. Beautiful and bittersweet, though it took losing my brother, entering a dark time to evolve and vow to become the best person I can be. But took losing your channel in that. Then when I was ready to move on, I took the pain of losing a good friend, as well as knowing I was older than a uh, brother to create the same pain to find your channel again. That transition created something different in my creative brain. Just needed the final piece and you were it. I'm back for good now, brother, and you better believe that. It took losing my brother and the pain of leaving your channel. Oh, I'm sorry. It then, t I'm seeing double. Did I mention that? Uh, it then took the, the, uh, I'm sorry. It took the pain again to bring me back and bury that darkness for good. And it makes me the best in spirit and drive I have ever been. You truly changed my life and soul and purpose. Never have I been this pure in my heart and swear on my brother's soul. You are the reason for making this direction in my life be pushed forward. Wow. What I do in art and, and good is not just me, but from the ones who made that possible. Jesse, your life and good in what you've created live through all of us who truly were changed and bettered by what you created. I believe in leaving this planet in bettering it in some way. You have done that. And I think the way to immortality is living on through those who see your show or art, music, etc. Et you truly will live on forever and bettered this journey we call life, and you better believe that. I was gone for a while, but not going anywhere, and and there till the end of this train. N never enough sips of Jack for you for truly changing my life forever. Sip of coffee as well to the fans that make me smile and move, move me just the same. Your loyal fan, brother, friend, soldier to our captain, knight to our king, with you to the end, we will cheers with you at the end of this journey of life at Valhalla. And you better believe that. Sip of Jack and Coke to our leader. Sip of Jack of coffee to his loyal troops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Brian Forsyth. For for, for, I gotta get that right. Wow. Wow. Sip of wine for that. Jesus Christ. You know, it's funny. Wow, Brian, what do you say after that? What do you fucking say? That's why we're here. Right now, it never ends for first responders. All right, get off the Casio keyboard already. Alcohol overdose. Alcohol overdose? God bless him. God bless him. Hold on. You might want to send that fucking meat wagon this way in a couple minutes to where this show's going. <laughs> what are you going to fucking do? What are you going to fucking do? You know what? 
We what? We what? What? We fucking. You want to talk? You know, we 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 listen to this. We know uh, Brian lost his brother, lost his best friend. We talk about loss, and I got news for you right now. I'm watching. I don't really get affected by people dying. I don't. I haven't. I've been very lucky where I haven't had much death in my life. Okay, from family members and whatnot. So I'm a little bit crass when it comes to death. You know, people. I mean. People die all the time. But I got news for you right now. This Eddie Van Halen dying. I mean, this is probably not the right time to talk about it. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This really got to me. I can't stop thinking about it. We lost a real treasure. I was watching a Van Halen concert from like 1982. I started crying. Watching Eddie Van Halen play. I started crying. Bawling. I was in bed. I was watching this video. My wife's like, what's what's going on? I said, I, I, I had tears rolling out of my eyes. She's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, you don't understand. You don't fucking understand. Jenny Van Halen, god damn it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Take one look at fucking uh, Frankenstrat. Oh, my God. Did you see this guitar that he built? Frankenstrat? He took the he took what did he took the humbucker from a from a, a Les Paul and he put it inside a Stratocaster and for some reason it was buzzing when he would play so he he figured out to dip it in paraffin wax but he could only dip it for so long in the paraffin wax because it was it was going to burn the uh, the windings inside the pickup so he had to time it perfectly and then he took an, he took another pickup but. From another guitar, but it wouldn't line up with the strings. You know how the pickup has like, you know, these, these, these little pickups that line up with the strings. It was too big. So he turned it diagonally to line up with the strings. Little things like this. He had a quarter from 1971 that was like, it was like on a cam screw that he could turn and put underneath the, uh, the tremolo there to stop it, to freeze it so it wouldn't move. He would wind the strings. The strings would come flat across the fretboard. And instead of, like, most guitarists would wind the strings down and bring the uh, what the strings across the bridge there, he would wind the strings up and oil the strings. He would boil the strings in water before he put them on his guitar. He was such a technician of the guitar. And then oil the bridge. So when he would do his whammies, the strings would move in and out like this. And he would file the... the, the, the uh, the bridge, I don't even know if it's called the fucking bridge. I'm not a guitar tech. So the strings could move easily. So the guitar wouldn't go out of tune. He did the, the he put the switch, the select the switch underneath the strings of the guitar. So he can hit the switch while he's playing the guitar. I can't. I said, we lost a genius. A musical genius. I know it's it's easy to overlook Eddie Van Halen because we've been saturated for for so long. Come on, guys. Drop dead legs. Uh. One of the one of the greatest drum fills of all time is on Drop Dead Legs. Right? It was <laughs> Alex Van Halen. Dot, dot. Oh, the attitude! The attitude! <sighs> All right. Moving along here. Jesus Christ. Number one. To help... In not getting cancer. Yeah. We all need a little help with that, don't we? What is this here? What is this here? Ordered you 10... From... Ch Ordered you 10 cheap Iron Maiden masks from China. First six months ago. Never got them. So, got this. Although, good... They're probably made with bad ball sacks and COVID ink. I'm in. 
I'm in. You want to know how I feel about this whole COVID uh, thing right here? I got news for right. If we weren't socially distancing, if we weren't tr treating this like it was the, the next plague, it would have been gone already. We all would have got it. It would have ran its course just like the flu, and it would have been gone already. And we wouldn't have been dealing with it now like we are. And everybody out there, everybody, well, more people will, would have died. Yeah, more, but the same amount of people are going to die. It's just going to be stretched out across a longer period of time. Here we go here. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a fucking mask. I almost, I almost thought it was like a lingerie. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to bang my wife. This could be lingerie. I'm going to bang my wife in, in Iron Maiden lingerie. I'm in. <laughs> I, I am in. No, we know. We know what this is, right? Look at that. Come on, guys. Come on. Look at that. You kidding me? Right now? I am in. I am in. Well, watch the hair. Like Don Flamenco. Don't miss my hair. Everybody loves my hair. <laughs> we, me and Billy used to love that part. When you'd fight Don Flamenco. Because he was always so concerned about, about his hair. I Wow. Okay. Let's. Uh, let. This, this is fun. Let's. Uh, we're celebrating with Brian today. Look at this. A little retro for little bithead. Jesus Christ. Got this for my nephew, son of my of my brother who passed, best friend. And I he saw me making. Uh, Max's art piece, and he wanted him to have it. Wow. Wow. This, look at this. Retro bit. Portable. Game Boy here? What is this all about? Oh, here's the on button. Oh, my God. Look at this. All right. Are you kidding me? Oh, Eight Eyes. The first game is Eight Eyes. Oh my god, look, it's got an old NES games on it. I remember when I bought Eight Eyes, that sack of shit game. Hold on, let's get, let's see if we can pull it up here. See if I recognize the music. Oh God, it's all coming back. I, I rode my, my bike in the snow back from KB Toys with this uh, $19.99 game to find out that it was a complete piece of shit. Yes. How do I get in the door? Oh, you gotta hit the switch. Ugh. Oh, my son's going to love this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Brian. If you guys could see this goddamn package, look at this. There's no end. There's no end. This this could be the greatest package we ever get here on the show. Where's number three? Did I just open number three? That was number one. Number two. Where's number three? Oh, here's number three. Oh boy, my 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 camera's about to shit the bed here. Use uh for use somewhere in time for smoke or lighting. A Molotov to throw at dirty hippies. Oh, I'm in. I'm down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good old Zippo lighter. Come on. Made in the USA. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, look at this. Somewhere in time lighter. 
Oh, look at it. It has a sticker that, that's sealing it. Here we go. We peel the sticker off. Look at this. It's it's sealing it. Brand new. Somewhere in time lighter. This is so cool. Oh, my God. Look at that. What do you what do you think? Some kind of bumpy off the streets? Come on! Jesus Christ! Look at this. Here we go. Oh yeah, she's soaking it up. Soak it up, baby. Ow! Somewhere in time, lighter. The, the life doesn't get any better. Did you? Did you get it? There we go. Oh! Hey! Where, where are my cigarettes? Ow! Wow, what a treasured piece. I'm gonna carry this with me everywhere. That's great. I'll carry it around. I got knives. I got lighters. Everything to make my pants fall down. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, God, for blessing me without an ass to hold up my pants. I get all this cool stuff, I can't even put it in my pocket because my trousers hit the ground. Thank you. Wow, that is a thrill. All right, we're going to do something because we're at we're at the, the hour and a half mark here. And my, we're going, we're going, we're switching the cell phone. We've never done this before. Unprecedented moment in the show. We're going, we're switching. Here we go. All right, I do not know how this is gonna work. There you go, are we set up here? How's that? And this has got a higher definition camera, so maybe you, can, you get to see the rosacea under my mustache here. Yeah, I got dead skin coming off my mustache. Yeah, my, my wife's gotta point it out all, she's gotta take high definition zoom in pictures of my face and then show them to me and I'm like throwing up. I'm like, is this, is this even an epidermis at this point? Oh. oh, by the way, by the way, I get, I'll get you into VIP one day. Life returns to normal. Ozzy autograph he gives to people in business so it's worth a little more than the photo signed wow look at this ozzy osborne's autograph oh it's going into the office look at that oh come on you know what brian this is fucking incredible man it's fucking incredible what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Number four. Every deck could be better with a little... Every deck could be better with a little... Let's see what we got going on here. To spice up your deck... Might need case for future sips of coffee. What is going on here? What is this? Look at this. Bithead 1000. Sip of coffee. Every deck. I don't understand. <laughs> this is going on the deck. Oh, the tape deck. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this little coffee mug. Oh, am I going to make sure this is coming in here? <laughs> it's got to go on the tape deck. Of course, it's got to go on the tape deck. Bring down the tape deck. Oh. All right. I don't, hopefully we got, we're in frame here. I can't, you know, we're, we're dealing with a new camera here. So... Yes, yes. Where's the glue? Here we go. Da 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 da
Where's my uh, accelerator? Here we go. I, I need my accelerator. Oh, here's my accelerator. Here we go. So we put our coffee mug, right? I'll be facing, I'll be facing this way, away from the sun. The sun's coming from down here. Here we go. A little glue. What am I, glue hardened? Oh, come on. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Oh, too much, too much, too much. No, that's good. That's good. We need a lot. We need a lot. I'm sitting right here. Right. Get the get the accelerator ready here. Here we go. Right here. That's where I'm sitting. Try not to spray myself in the face. It's the perfect scale. Like a little accelerator there. Oh yeah. Look at our tape. We got we got the tape deck out here. Look at look at the tape collection growing here. Oh, I love that creaking sound. Listen to that. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, baby. Here we go. Man, oh man, Brian, you got it figured out, bro. You definitely got this show nailed down. Ah, I don't know about you, but do you feel like a degenerate when you drink a whole bottle of wine? What's the limit? I talked to this guy at work. He's like in the physical condition of like Frank Zane. Okay. I tell all I see him doing is eating meat. That's all he eats, chicken. I see him eating chicken. I see him eating hamburger patties, this type of thing. I say to him, don't you ever eat any carbs or anything like that? He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll drink about, you know, maybe like two or three bottles of wine with dinner. I was like, oh, what? what? <laughs> there are some fucking freakazoids out there, man. He's like, yeah, I'll drink. I'll, I'll have like two or three bottles of wine with, with dinner. I said, aren't you fucking obliterated? He's like, ah. He's like, I'm used to it. I go, okay. Like, how long can you go on doing that? Number one, what, what, how, what, who can afford to drink three bottles of wine every night? We're making the same amount of money. I'm broke. Anyhow. What do you got? Number five here? Uh, yes. Another deck support. I think... This side was uh, last used. All right, here we go. Here we go. What is this here? My brother Doug's tape. Wow. Wow. It has not been played in over 25 years. Last time I remembered listening to it, it was looking at porno mags shooting a BB gun out the window at bottles. Oh my god, what a memories. Replaced case has uh, bop bop. Means a lot to me that this tape and that is why it is yours now. Wow. Thought you should have it now. My brother would love would have loved your channel. Wow. Sipper Jack. Cheers. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mega death. Let's see where it's at. Let's see where it's at, people. Right here now, 25 years later. Let's see where it's at.
one's for Doug. Rest in peace. Sip of orange wine. Here we go. Number six. What is <laughs> Until you get those body tattoos jerk off into this. What the heck is going on? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Holy Christ. What the? Johnny Blade out here? Come on, buddies. Holy shit! Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Big World War II collector got a bunch of tank shells. Got this from Tanker, who served in World War II. This was fired at Bluegrass Army Depot in Kentucky Test Range, 1942, before he deployed to Africa campaign. He was a gunner in Stewart Tank, mostly fired at machine gun posts and light armor. Whoa! Look at that fucking shell! Oh my god, what a treasure! What a treasure! What a treasure! Oh my god, my, look at the look at the primer on that thing. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This thing weighs. I don't know. That's got to be hmm, close to a half pound. That's that's more than eight ounces. My lord, that's way more than eight ounces. What is this? 37 millimeter? Is that 37 millimeter? I think so. Wow. That is one hell of a fucking shell casing right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is great. My lord. And in here, what are these? These are balls, right? Yeah, balls. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's incredible. <laughs> I got I gotta make sure my, my phone's not fucking me tender. Oh, where are we at? That was six. This. Every captain needs his weapons. Look, <laughs> look at this. Yo, Brian, Brian, for crying out loud. Captain Cunt. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. Jesse, Bithead 1000. Look at that. Brushes in a beautiful... What a beautiful way to hold your brushes. Wow, Brian. Wow, Brian. I'm really grateful for this because you know what? I just have my brushes laying in a stupid box. You know, and they're all over the place. And I get them and they're bent over and stuff like that. Wow, what a wonderful way to keep them. What a wonderful, creative way to keep them. Oh, this is awesome, man. This is awesome. Look at that. Bithead 1000. Captain Cunt. That's right. It's my alter ego. You don't, You didn't know that? Yeah? Halloween costume from what? 2000 and... Uh, 2000 and when I was single? Never mind BC. You know, before Christ and AD. What is AD? After what? What? You know... I, I, men should refer to their life BM before marriage. Yeah. Like when when you could actually crack a smile on your face. This was this was 
when I, my alter ego was Captain Con, a cunt when I was BM, before marriage, and happy. Wow, I love this, Brian. I love this, Brian. I will cherish this. I will cherish this. Look at this thing. It's awesome. It's awesome. This little... Oh, it's, uh, look at this. Gun casing. Caps on the end. This is incredible, man. This is incredible. Just like that. Just like that, you're a professional. Just like that, you're a professional. Brian, I'm really overwhelmed, man. I am re I'm really and truly over. More ammo, please. Number eight. More ammo, please. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Brushes, brushes in a stripper clip. What the hell is going on here? This is outrageous. What do we got here? What did, what size is that? That looks like a 308, no? Listen to me, big military guy, right? Wow, look at that on a stripper clip. 308 never went in a stripper clip, did it? No, I don't think so. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. And look at this bringing me to a whole new level. Painting knives. I mean, bringing me to a whole new level. I make bullet brushes and feel they work. Great in my painting. I only have these two left. Okay, these are the, 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 the bullet brushes. Yes. Oh my God, the fucking brush is part of the bullet casing. Okay, I thought they were in there like a like almost like a pencil uh like a pencil holder or something like that. Look at this. This is the bullet brush. Oh, it's comfortable too. It's comfortable. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. What does it say here? I make bullet brushes and feel they work great in my painting. I only have these two. Left gave away to others. We'll have full five clips. I will send you in the future once I make more. They are eight millimeter K98. How did I not recognize that when I have a fucking K98 Mauser? I was almost... These are K98 rounds. Wow. I should know that. I should know that. Boy, I haven't fired my gun in a long time. God almighty, I'm embarrassed to say it's probably been about three years. I don't even know if I know how to take it apart now. The Mauser, yeah. The, um, the M, look at my fucking memories going. The M, the fucking Mosin Gant. M48? No. Jeez, I'm getting old. The Mosin de Gant. I don't know, even know if I'd be able to take that one apart now. Because you had to clearance the uh, something or other needed clearance, the firing pin. I had a tool for it. Jesus Christ. They are 8mm K98 Mauser rounds I fired. I have, a K, I have three K98 Mausers. Oh, very nice. No, you got one as well. Love World War II. Most of my guns are relics from... 15 uh, uh, relics, got 15 plus gun relics from that time. Wow, fantastic. I'd love to know more about your guns. Yeah, I want an M1 Garand. <laughs> love to have an M1 Garand. But wow, painting nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. It's special stuff, man. It's special stuff. Okay, number, that was number, I'm losing track here. Okay. Number 10. Oh, that's the final one. Okay, number 9. What do we got here? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Easter egg. Bithead 1000 love. I love condom. Yeah. 
I got I got thoughts on condoms. I don't know if you want to hear about them. <laughs> I love uh no. No. This isn't the time. This isn't the time. We'll talk about condoms some other day. Family portrait. Little guy gets first art piece. Oh my god. This is where I get shivers. Where's Johnny Blade? For, where's Johnny Blade when I need him? All right, very carefully. Careful, careful, careful here. Holy shit, what is going on here? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. The world is yours, Max. It's a beautiful place. Add to that. And enjoy every minute. Good luck, Brian. Wow. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Wow, Max's monsters. Oh, yeah. My son is crazy, crazy about my... There he is right there, Max. <laughs> it looks just like him. It looks just like him. Oh my God, look at this, this is Chewy. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This is incredible, man. Max's Monsters, two, two Max, Brian, two, uh, 7, 726, 2020. Wow, how cool is this? It's gonna go right on his desk, man. Okay, wow, your picture looks really cool, right? We put it, we hung it up in your room, right? We even got it in a stud so it can't fall down, right? What do you want to say? Hi, Brian, your picture is good and I'm so glad you buy me this. Honey. For, for $2 bill dollars. Oh, and the $2 bill, right? That was awesome, right? So you really like the picture, don't you? You even picked out. And that is, that is Dada, and that is Mommy, and that is me, and that is Chewy like Chewbacca. Right? Uh-huh. It's awesome, right? And that is Cornhead. Cornhead? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That we, might wa we watch a movie and of that, and there's a upside down head spider. Yeah, that's right up your alley, right? And I know how to start it off. I shut it off. That's how you shut it off. Uh -huh. And I know how to do it again. Okay. Look. All right, say bye to Brian. Say thank you again, okay? Thank you again. Bye, Brian. This is unbelievable. We got gremlins in there. Look, Slimer's in there. Yes, you get the alien from Spaceballs. <laughs> yes. We were just watching Goonies the other day. You're going to love that. Bowser over here. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Is that from Basket Case? <laughs> You're haunting me now. You're haunting me with Basket Case. I have nightmares about that little creep from Basket Case. Oh, this is awesome. What is that from The Thing? Oh, yeah. Wow. Hope I got your wife's complexion oh where is she where is she is this her right here <laughs> that, that could be her 
That could be her. Oh my god. Hope she does not hate it. One thing I fucked up is always start with hard part. Did your son after the entire piece was done? Fucked up his head. Uh, proportions. Will post my process on my only art page. Brian Forth's Forsyth. F O R B R Y A N F O R S Y T H art on Facebook. Uh, you gotta, you gotta fit. And dog, the dog's in there. Yes, the family's in there. Think you can figure out his monster squad had tons of fun making this. Wow, this is great. This is great. My son's gonna go crazy. We're going to put this in. This is right up his alley. It's right up his alley. This is on my... Yeah, you got Bart right in there, right? Oh, fantastic. Brian, so cool. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love Chewy. Chewy's in the battle, right? <laughs> That's the best. Brian, amazing, amazing. Let me carefully set this down. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And the final one. Final cherry. Final cherry on the come Sunday. Here we go. You got a Nintendo tape here. Nintendo tape for you right here. All right, you'll see it before I do. That's just how it goes. That's how we do it. Yes, wrapped up nicely here. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> you beat me to it, Brian. Look at this. Zaha! Yowza! Oh my God. Brian. Brian. What can we say? What can, look at this. We got an Operation Wallet Buster! For Christ's sake. Oh, my God. Brian, I have to say, you've basically... Uh, this is probably the... Uh, my God. Too much, Brian. Too much. Too much, eh? Too much, eh? Too much, eh? Too much, eh? Wow. I... This is like, uh... What do you say? What do you say? I, I don't know about any other channel on YouTube. I can tell you, I can tell you right now, that we have the greatest viewers, the greatest audience out there. I can say that unequivocally. I could, I know how many subscribers I have. I know the view counts every week. I even know the one guy that thumbs down me. I mean, like 10 seconds right after I put up a video. I don't even know how this was possible. I love him to death, though. I look forward to that thumbs down, believe it or not. I don't know how it's possible. I said, these are the greatest. That guy is, he's, he's the, one of the, the, the greatest viewers I have. It's a media thumbs down. At least I know he's watching. I love him. You guys think I'm sitting here joking. I love the guy. <sighs> but Brian, this is this is outrageous. This is outrageous. I'm really I'm I'm speechless. I, I'm taking it back. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What I do know what to do is. The new camera's gonna pick this up. Come on, on goddamn you! No, no wonder why every science teacher I knew is stressed out beyond belief. Here we go. 
go. Come on. All right. All right. I don't, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but here we go. I got a better view. I got a better view. How about that? Oh, that's nice. That helps. All right. So here we go. We're one step closer. One step closer to our goal of a complete NES collection. And let's face it, people, these are the wallet busters. These are the tough ones. So here we are, right here. We finally go to the left side of the list. You know, we've been uh, we've been at the right for a while here, but here we go. Zombie Nation. What a great time for my marketer to shit the bed. Guys. Do you understand what this means? Picture, picture time. Let's see what all the hype is about. Of course, we need the controller. Naturally, we're piped into the Sansui 1010. Uh, shut your trap. That's all I gotta, I gotta hear stained whining in my ear. I thought, it, I thought it was Jump by Van Halen for a second. But it's stained. I gotta hear this guy whining my, in my ear. You're a go. You're a go. What's the problem? What's the problem with you? You're a go. I don't know what's going on here. My game, sh my game station shit the bed. So I don't know. We'll show some footage of of Zombie Nation. Should we? Can we do that right now? Can we please? Brian, you know, to be honest with you, I woke up this morning and. I didn't really want to do the show. <laughs> it can be a grind. It can be a real grind. And then you come out here and something like this happens and you just like, you're blown away. You're blown away. And that's what I am right now. I'm blown away. Thank you, Brian. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about your brother, Doug. Uh, I'm sorry about to hear about your best friend. Uh, but you, you've inspired me. You understand how this works? You've inspired me to, uh, I'm going to do the best I can do on the show. I'm going to, every time I come out here, I say, I'm going to do the best I can do. And, uh, and we try to do that. So thank you, Brian. Thank you for inspiring me. Thank you. And, uh, good luck with your artwork. I mean, you know, uh, I'm glad you're pursuing it. I, I believe that we we are the highest forms of creation on this planet Earth, and there's nothing we can't do. So keep going at it, bro. All right. Thank you, Brian. All right. Guys, do you realize that you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K Vice! We'll see you next time. Yes. Finally. This fucking motherfucking camera. All right. Here we go. We're back. A day later. And a shave. How about that? Anyway, guys. Zombie Nation. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I thought it was important. This is a mega wallet buster, by the way. So I f thought it was important that we check this game out. I mean, for the sake of Brian, huh? Okay. All right.
right. Going all the way down, huh, buddies? All the way down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, zombie! Wow, it's the second to last game. Jesus. Oh, by the way, Zombie Nation, Me Meldak of America, what? What a perfect time of year, right? 1999, what appeared to be a harmless meteorite crashing into the Nevada desert has turned out to be Dark seed, an evil alien creature with heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, round one, here we go. Boy, jeez, listen to that bass. Grime. Oh, hard? What is this? What is this all about? I don't know, round, oh, round one. Yes, round one. What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ, what is this, the end of the world? <laughs> this is a nightmare, look at this! Look at people falling to their death. My God! Hang on a second. Wow, the controls are very floaty on this game. Look at this guy in the top. Look, at be burning to death, falling to their death. Tanks. Look at the way these buildings are burning. Oh, there's my energy meter at the bottom. Okay, here we go. Jesus Christ, it's so satisfying burning these buildings to the ground. This, this looks like my accountant. This this head here. Controls are very interesting. They're, they're responsive, but they're very floaty. <laughs> Listen to the people scream! Oh, jeez. <sighs> what the fuck is going on here? All right, let's try a different level, maybe. Round two. All right, let's go. Maybe... Look, he's shooting out... He's spitting out tongue. Is that a tongue? And he's sh shooting out his eyeball at the same time? This is disgusting. Oh my god, look at those cloud effects at the top. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. All right, let's just check out round three because this is this is a very bizarre game. <laughs> what are they, what are these soldiers? Nine-year-old girls? You hear the way they scream? Hold on, let's turn it on the volume a little bit. Oh, 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 oh! Come on, come on! I mean, listen, I... Alright, you're out of here. 
What do you want me to tell you? Highly, highly disturbing game. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's Zombie Nation in a nutshell. Do you need any more than that? You just turned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that. With the 4K dice! We'll see you next time.